This video will show how to effectively initialize the Leica AP20 Autopol. The video is applicable whether you are using the AP20 with a Captivate or an Icon Total Station and Controller. To measure with tilt compensation, the AP20 needs to be initialized. For this, the pole must be moved around whilst the Total Station is locked to the prism and measuring continuous distances. But what is the most effective way to get the AP20 initialized? Let's answer this by looking at how we need to move the pole around. There are three factors to consider. The type of movement, the speed of movement, and the duration of movement. Let's look at each one in turn. The first factor is the type of movement. So that accelerations can be measured, the pole must be moved about in different directions. This can be achieved by moving the pole left and right, forwards and backwards, around in circles, or a mixture. The movements should be large enough that the prism is also changing position as much as possible, say by 50 centimeters to 1 meter. The movements can also be performed whilst walking with the pole. Moving the pole at a constant speed along a straight line will not help with the initialization. The second factor when initializing is the speed of movement. When moving the pole around, move it with a moderate speed, something like this. Moving it too slowly like this will not provide enough measurable acceleration for the AP20. And moving it too quickly and erratically like this means the total station may not be able to fully track the prism. The third factor to consider when initialising is the duration of movement. In order to strengthen the initialization, the pole should be continued to be moved around for about 5 more seconds after the initialization. This will help it remain initialised for longer when it is needed to stand still with the pole and make a measurement. Walking with the pole several metres to the point to measure will also help further improve the strength of the initialization. So, to summarise, the most effective way to get the AP20 initialized is as follows. Make large enough movements so the AP20 can measure enough acceleration and the total station can measure a good spread of positions. Make the movements with a moderate speed so the total station can track the prism and maintain the movements for a few more seconds so the initialization can be strengthened. Thanks for watching.